Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and we are continuing our journey with the Diaries of Death, uh, this time with Carlos de Silva, still working on the Thief Skills quest. We are not getting an easy pass on deciphering the manual, the diary of the former uh, guild chief and Kalsemo, the guy who has the means of deciphering it, unfortunately won't help us either. So what I did is I stole his uh, stupid keys and we're now going and uh, finding the answers our own way as we need to get entrance to Calcemos Research Laboratory. Okay, after taking the wrong turn, I finally managed to go to the other side and into the museum. Here we go, invisibility. And let's try this the stealthy way. Lots of guards here, but our sneaking is quite good. Still careful. Ooh. That's not bad. Unfortunately, a little bit too heavy for my taste. On the other hand, the soul gems, which we might need a little bit later, are not heavy at all. Let's use our Aura Whisper shot here to figure out where everybody is. I think these guys are still guards, right? Is someone there? Yep, city guards. Good, careful. Opening this. Still thing. These come in handy. Still need a key. There we go, that's the laboratory key. They cannot hear me at the moment.
Okay, those two are practically asking to be killed. can still see me so no point in dragging it out or wizard guards all right well let's do a little bit of this and a little bit of that them in heavy armor which is perfect for a dagger based build to the one-handed attack that was not clever run guards really Didn't want to prevent killing those mark of guards really uh, rather but okay let's get another poison up Down by the poison? Yeah. Yeah, the poison is ticking down nicely. Good. What started as a really calm and secure run. And it is a complete massacre. Okay, well, <clears throat> I wanted to do it the calm and collected way, and it ended up in a typical Saigon fashion with killing every single one of them. Could have also snuck down here 
through the gas. But that's what gave us away at the end. Oh really? Once again we're detected, although we are invisible. Okay, a couple of things here. A that. B that. Huh, that was unnecessary. We need a bit of that <coughs> and some magicka. Okay, one more. Turned out to be quite bloody, quite fast, yet again. And all that just to have Kalsemo's work be safe and secure. Okay, this time I'm not even trying to be uh, quiet, apparently. fight that just without any preparation we're actually going to drink up we're going to take that and whilst we're at it let's get the magic up pick up Detecting us. Get Nesselbane poisoned again. Over 
He can see us? How? Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. I think he has reanimated that guard with an animate dead. I was un under the impression that we were invisible, but apparently that was wrong. killed every single one of uh, the enemies so ring of major destruction yeah we don't need that After slaughtering all of the guards, we should be good. If you're a high level wizard, by the way, you can just teleport up here, which is what I did the last time with in Requiem. Just teleported onto the balcony, skipped all of the content, and directly went for this here. Fantastic. Thank you, Caldemo, also for the skill books. Roll of paper, charcoal, that's what we need. Yeah, I don't want to fight him. Sword might be a good enchant, uh, worth a good enchantment. Yep, there we go. Just in case we're going for enchantments later. I think there were a couple of new guards coming in. Yes, I think I was right. sure if I can separate them really.
Okay, one down, three more to go. Can the master assassin actually act like a master assassin? Clever, they're staying together. Sort of together. Is someone there? <laughs> I guess I was just hearing things. Good, that was a bit quicker version of it. Did the captain drop anything astoni uh, astonishing? No. Good. That was the Mad Wizard's uh, balcony and we're back to handing in our research. Okay, so back, eh? this should How help translate Gallus' journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm, this is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enthu? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Enfer. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Enfer. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. All right, pretty bad stuff. Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. Do whatever you can and I'd consider- Thank you. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a- I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time and I'll okay, see Okay, so can do. thank you, Kalaya. Let's hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Kalaya's journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre. I've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require the type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. 
Thieves and Temple, it just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. <laughs> I'd understand it better if less mystery was involved. The Nightingale. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Very well then. We do it your way for now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. If I'll put it to good use. To listen to reason, you might have to. Nice, we got a Nightingale Blade. Which I'm unfortunately is a sword and not a knife, really. But it is a fine blade. Uh, just for the reason that we're not specced into it. Boy, boy, 20 health absorption and stamina absorption. That's just madness. I like it. If it would be a dagger, it would be even better. Parts of good. Bring me whatever you I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Yeah, Keep your let's eyes go. Open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. this so-called proof you speak of. I have Dallas's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years. Right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin. I'll need you to open the vault. Why, just a blessed bunch of three. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from a vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. How can Mercer open up a vault with these two keys? It's impossible. Pretty big his way in. That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. Shield it there. Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. I've used my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. away right now we can't afford to lose our heads we need to calm down and focus do what he says Vex. this ain't helping right there fine we do it your way for now delvin Vex, watch the flagon if you see mercer come tell me right away all right we'll skip the next part of talkie talkie and uh, go to more action Good, we are in Mercer's house and I forgot to hit record. We just killed one of uh, the guards. Not a, not a big deal really. Just need to find his notes and that's pretty much it.
good. If my memory serves me well, they were in the basement. Pretty sure they had been here. Yes. Oh yeah, there were a couple of traps. I distinctly remember that. Just like a true rogue, uh, he has very much trapped the entire dungeon. That's a nice little glass sword, unfortunately we're not using swords, so I'm not even going to bother. All right, back to the Thieves Guild. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? He wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus's pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Then we have to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Until next we meet live. Good, now it's time to ascend into the ranks of a nightingale. why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rift, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clear and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Good. We're going to become the agent now and are now officially clothed in one of uh, the best in-game sets. I absolutely love it for, for what it does. And you better. We have uh, hit the 600 uh, armor mark with a shield. So that in itself is impressive. What I've done as well is I've spent some more gold to finish our aura whisper shout. As you can see, it lasts longer now. Cooldown is higher as well, but we have 30 seconds uptime which is more than enough for what I was uh, thinking. Good. Then, next up, let's increase our skills. Got a couple, but not too many. Why 
one hand that looks good and we want to continue sneak improvements the reason why I'm pushing is we can use every single level as we're going up against Mercer Frey this guy is not a pushover good need a few more points here to actually get a meaningful upgrade good we'll save the perk but we got some extra hit points next up i think we need further armor up uh, further equipment upgrades uh, and uh, by that really we need a better weapon that bait was not too bad but it also was not a fantastic weapon either might by the way need to skill like one skill into enchanting to be able to recharge the weapons let me do that bite the bullet now not perfect but it's better than nothing with that we can at least recharge the weapons good but we need a better weapon and there is actually one weapon Maroon's Razor that I could try to get but that is a difficult quest I'm trying to not put the cart before the horse but I think we're going to do exactly that next good here we go time to start yes. the quest my collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire why don't you come in you can browse the display Let's yep. talk Sounds inside. good, Salvius. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. Those robes were... Did you have any questions about the museum? A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. All that right. was almost 150 years. So you want two to of the uh, get those fragments. Notes about them. Good. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Good luck finding the fragments. Well, off we go. Three pieces it is then. So, number one. We needed to beat up uh, Jorgen here in Morthal. Not a big challenge. Easiest part of the three to get. I will take your Ebony's arrows though. Because they are actually quite good. Potion of healing is fine as well. There was a surprising amount of stuff that he had hidden here. Two more to go. Those, however, are going to be guarded a bit more. Our next little visit brings us down here to an orc fortress. And we go. Crack Stone Tusk uh, is the name, I think. Anyways, we're going to see it in a second. Crack Task Cube. Yes, that indeed is the name. We fought a couple of times here. For example, with Geoffrey de Loch. He cleared uh, that out. Isaac also cleared it out. can see us. Well, that is unfortunate. Can't hide from me. Yep, 
They can sort of see us, but not fully. First of all, get you all geared up. Thank you. Ah, that wasn't really working as intended. Good, so they fled inside. Fair enough. Couple of skill books, you don't need that. Now it's back to silent mode. Or not, because uh, they can clearly see us. Guy must have a really good perception because we were invisible. But yeah, it's not an automatic success. Looking for the blade? You want? Are you kidding me? Missed him two times, okay. Well, that was exceptionally bad in terms of how I hit them. At least there should be pushovers, I should barely lose any health at all. But okay, shit happens. Time to get into the vault. And whilst we're on it, time to heal up a little bit. Ooh, surpassing healing potion. Nice. The game was very kind with the surpassing healing potions so far. Not even sure why I'm sneaking, there's no one here. only thing to be careful of, about. All of the traps. Good. Two pieces done. One more to go. And the difficult part is not really getting the pieces, but like the end of the quest is going to be the one that stings. All right, next part. In so we are coming to the more interesting part, Dead Crone Rock, which is a huge force one area. If 
fuck is wrong with our invisibility? That is going to hurt. These guys are mean and they deal a lot of damage. Not sure why exactly they ignore my invisibility. Maybe it has to do with it being complete daylight, so I'll just wait a few more hours. I'll just wait a few more hours and we'll try it in the evening time. Time to do this the silent way. The Force Warren are incredibly dangerous uh, on the offense. So for us, it needs to be all shadows, all defense. And no disturbance. Iron arrows, okay. They still don't fully know where we are. All we need to do is stay put and wait for a bit. Potions, yeah, not necessary right now. Okay, might also use Aura Whisper to see how many we're dealing with. It's not Aura Whisper. One, two, three. That's not a human, that's some sort of animal. So far we're doing exceptionally well with that uh, sneak and kill tactic. Ooh, 
Sworn somewhere. A good way of finding out where that is. It's by using Aura Whisper, potentially up there. However, they aggroed is beyond me. here remains alive so let's get in Someone's coming down the stairs. Let's get behind them. There we go. I know I heard something. The enemy does uh, the good old strategy. Come down with a single person. At, at a time. Because what could possibly get wrong, uh, go wrong? So stupid indeed that I needed to hit it twice. Yeah, so we're going to make ourselves ah. visible by drinking a potion. Visible again. Oh, so that's the side entrance. Gotcha. Pretty sure I just saw the Heck Raven. 
First off, I'd like to rebuff. Second of all, Nettlebane is still very much poisoned. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Didn't want to run into him. There is the pommel. Very nice. Soul gem. Paralysis poison. And the well deserved shout that we can't really use. Not bad, we can disenchant that. Cool. I think that's a good point for an end of an episode. Because now the uh, he heavy, more difficult part uh, starts. 51 hand. Great. Love it. I think we can get to 25 marksmen. And we continue with sneaking. Level up, yes please. More health, because that is ultra important. And we're taking more attack speed. Next up. We would take more damage and armor penetration with daggers, which is great as well. And eventually the advanced semi-atomical lore to get us further. Dexterity would be our next ordeal. 70 dex would give us increased dagger swing speed and even more penetration. So that would unfortunately at that point then max out our damage but i think we're okay for now i mean just looking at our damage 140 is not bad for a dagger and quick swing speed good that's the end of today's episode guys i hope you enjoyed uh, the right if that is the case then sneak yourself over to the like button and backstep it to get some likes up. Thanks and have a good one.